Well, it's quite reluctantly that I sit down to do the Lower Lodge devotion with Pastor Hayton at this time. You see, I've been out on the riding lawnmower watching leaves from the many trees there on our church property. And it's one of my favorite things to do because I love the fresh air and the sunshine. But I uh, decided that before I go home, I'll just stop by my study and spend my uh, normal few minutes with you here on the Lord Light's devotional. So I was out meditating, and I do a lot of meditating when I'm out on the lawn tractor. A lot of pastors, perhaps they're most productive when they're sitting behind their desk, but I seem to be most productive when I'm out uh, sitting behind the wheel of my car or sitting on the riding lawnmower. My mind is uh, just going a lot of different directions, and I do a lot of meditating. I do a lot of praying at that time. And I was thinking about a, a verse from the book of Psalms. I can't tell you the exact reference today. Uh, if you're interested, you can look it up in your concordance or Google it on the internet and it'll take you right to the very chapter and verse. But it says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And we know that uh, that can be translated, the steps of a good man are directed or guided by the Lord. And as I thought about that, I thought about how, uh, you know, we consider ourselves to be good people. Uh, we're not good through our own merit. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, so it isn't the good things that we do that make us good. Uh, our goodness is only found uh, through the saving grace of God. Until we have truly come to God and confessed our sins and uh, taken Christ as our Savior, uh, we might be good in the eyes of the world, but uh, we're unrighteous and we are sinful in the sight of God. But once we come to God and surrender heart and life to Him, allow Him to take up residence through His Holy Spirit in our heart while we are uh, one of those people that the Bible calls a good man, saved man, a Christian man, sanctified man, consecrated man. Uh, we are wholly dedicated to God, and that's what the Bible is talking about when it says uh, the steps of a good man are directed by the Lord. But as I thought about how once we become a good man in the sight of God, a good person, that the word man, of course, refers to either gender in this situation. So whether you're a man or a woman, once you become good by the grace of God, acceptable in his sight, God wants to direct your steps. Now steps, that kind of indicates that we're uh, moving, doesn't it? Kind of indicates that we're progressing forward. I uh, take some backward steps, but not most of the time, why our steps are forward and we're moving forward. And as we move forward in our Christian experience, God wants to direct our life. Uh, the psalmist said, that will show me the way that I ought to go. That will direct my path and that will lead me into the paths of righteousness or the path of right living. And so we've got to allow God to lead our life. Bible does say all of a man's ways are right in his own eyes and, and so we cannot be trusted. But God's ways are right and God's way will never lead us astray. God's way will take us in the direction that we all intend to go, and that is toward heaven. And so I want to know that I'm, I'm living a life that's directed by God, that's guided by Him. And it's only as I get into the Word of God, only as I meditate and study upon what thus saith the Lord in His Word, and only as I follow the leadership of the Holy Spirit, can my uh, steps uh, be directed by God? God wants to direct our lives and take us in a heavenly direction. Heavenly Father, may we look to the Word of God. May we depend upon the voice of the Holy Spirit to direct our steps from day to day. Lord, that we might go in the paths of righteousness, that we might travel that way that takes us to the city of God. Bless us on down throughout the journey of life. That's our prayer 
In Christ's name, amen. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, here on the Lord Light's Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.